Here is a traditional counting problem that involves addition. Uh, you have a, a newspaper that serves a metropolitan area of 430,000. Uh, it knows how many daily customers it has, 225,000, how many Sunday uh, papers it, it sets up and delivers, and it also knows how many customers it has that takes the paper uh, seven days a week, 185,000 in this case. Okay, I want to, and what the company, of course, is interested in is uh, how many total households is it going to reach or uh, how many it doesn't reach. Now, uh, I want to set this up three different ways to show you some options on how to solve it. Uh, well, let's formulate some of these numbers as sets that we can count. So, uh, for example, let's let uh, D designate the set of daily subscribers. Okay, and we know the number of elements in D is going to be uh, uh, 225,000. So uh, let's let S be the uh, number of Sunday describers. Okay, and once we know that, uh, the number that subscribe to both the daily and the Sundays, well, that's just going to be what that's going to be d intersect s and this is going to be both okay now uh and of course what do we want to find well the most natural thing we want to find here first might be d union s okay now we could do this with the formula what does the addition formula says well it says that the number of things in the union of two sets is just equal to the number of things in each set, so that the number of things in D plus the number of things in S. Okay, but now if we do that, remember if we add the number of daily subscribers and Sunday subscribers, some people take both papers, so we've got to subtract off the D intersect S. Okay, and so this is the, the basic uh, addition formula here, and we can just throw in the numbers to figure out what the number is going to be out here because it's set up this way. So the number of daily subscribers was going to be what? Well, that was going to be 225. Let me not write the, this is all the zeros for the thousands. It just takes up room and it's hard to deal with here. Uh, what about the Sunday edition? Sunday edition goes to 260, so I'll add 260 there. And then that we saw that there was 185 that got both. Okay, so we just have to tally up this. I guess uh, we can uh, do a little bit of manipulation here. Let me see. If I take 225 and subtract 185 from it, that's going to just leave me 40. Okay, so 40 plus 260 is going to come out to be 300. That's pretty easy addition. So there's 300 uh, total subscriber so and then of course if there was 430 all together the ones that uh, do not read the, the non subscribers is going to be 430 uh, minus 300 uh, would be 130,000 people okay so all right that's one way to set the, the problem up and uh, to work it out now let's let's do this another way. Uh, sometimes when you have information like this, you have to figure out what the numbers are. It's sort of advantageous to use a table. So let's let uh, put in the row here, the daily. That'll be D. Okay, and so we'll, and let the complement of that, the people subscribers in the town that are not daily subscribers, we'll put them down there. So, and we'll let S be the Sunday subscribers, okay, and then S prime is the non-Sunday subscribers. So, we can designate uh, the various numbers in each of the cells of this table. Let's see what we have here. Well, we know there's 185 subscribers to both daily and Sunday. Uh, we know the total number of daily subscribers, that was 225, so let's put a total out here. 225 and we saw the total number of 
Sunday subscribers was going to be 260. Okay, and of course the total of all the totals was 430. Okay, and the problem here, we say we wanted to find out uh, what the uh, people subscribe to either the daily or the Sunday. So we're interested in this block or complementarily this number down here. And so now we can easily go through and figure out what each of these various numbers are going to be. Well, what is this number right here? This is 185 from 225. Well, 15 gives us 200, and other, so this is going to be 40,000 here. Uh, and actually there, we can actually add up this group here plus the 40 to see that the total of this is, is going to be 300. So we're, we actually have that answer. If we wanted to go and figure out all the blocks, it's pretty easy to do here. Uh, let me see, here's another 15,000 that goes to 200 plus this, so, so this will be 75 of what's, what kind of arithmetic can we do down here. So here is 260 subtracted from uh, 430, well that's not bad, that's 170. And so therefore we can see what goes in, in this cell right here, this is 40 from 170, so there's 130. See, that agrees with what we found out up here. Uh, and finally, the last number, which should be obtained either by adding these two or subtracting these two, you subtract 225 from 430. That's pretty easy to do. That's 205. Now, let's check and see if it works this way. Yes, 75 plus 130 is 205. So, in fact, uh, what the table does is it allows us to answer not just uh, the original question here, but several other questions that could have been posed. Now, uh, what other methods do we have here? Well, of course, we could go and look at a Venn diagram. See if I can put a diagram on here. So this is going to be the our Venn diagram, and we need our two sets involved. One is going to be the daily sets here, so I make this my big set for D, and then I'll put the Sunday subscribers. Here's all the Sunday subscribers here. That's out here S, and of course we've got uh, numbers out here. So the, uh, uh, the number of daily subscribers is what? That was going to be 225. The number of Sunday subscribers was 260. And the intersection here is in this part. Uh, that was going to be 185. Let's see if I can sneak that number on there. Okay, and so the problem again was to find how many belong to either the daily or the Sunday subscriber. So we can do just like we did before. Uh, this will be 225 minus 185 comes out to be 40. This becomes 260 over on this little piece, minus 185, and so what's that going to be? 75 there. So if we add up all of those totals together, if we add 40 plus 185 plus 75, of course I think we, we already knew this total here was just going to be 260, so we add that to the 40, we come out to be 300. See, the arithmetic is just doing the arithmetic in a different way. Well, how many people are non-subscribers? Well, the non-subscribers here, that's the outside part, that would be the 430, uh, take away the what we found here, the 300. So there's 130 going to be in this section of the Venn diagram side. So what we've done is we've taken this problem, uh, addition counting problem and we've actually seen three ways to solve it. Either the, the formula which I guess you could know it makes perfect sense. Build up a table you don't need to know any formula just have to figure out where to put the numbers or and then the Venn diagram.